Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a little get ready with me. This would be a chat and try video, but I kind of already tried the products and I don't want to, you know, do a fake first impressions because that's just not fun. I did get some products from Tower 28 Beauty. The packaging of these products is everything. I actually got a Sephora gift card for my, not my birthday, for graduation and I was going to pick up some Tower 28 Beauty products. Specifically this blush, this like orange blush intrigued me. I love an orange blush. You guys know Beam is my favorite cloud paint from Glossier. So I was going to pick up this stuff and then they DM me and asked to send me some of their products, which was so cool. And I was like, you guys have no idea. I literally just clicked add to cart and I had the tab open. I just hadn't purchased it yet. And then they reached out to me and I was like, wow, this is, this is some pure magic. But yeah, thank you so much Tower 28 Beauty. I'm so excited to not try the products because I already did, but I'm just going to, you know, incorporate them into this get ready with me. Today, I'm going to be doing a little peachy look inspired by these two products like the little orange um, lip and then the orange blush so yeah without further ado let's go ahead and get into the get ready with me so i'm gonna start with the glossier skin tint in um, g12 and i just applied this using my fingers just some good old clean fingers but let me know how you apply your skin tint i'm curious i'm always looking for better ways to apply this it's like an interesting product um, I feel like if I were to use my usual beauty sponge with it, it would just absorb way too much of it. Oh, that went all over my eyebrow. So yeah, I just use my fingers, but let me know what you guys do. Speaking of my Sephora gift card, there really was no other makeup besides um, those that cream blah, 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 that cream blush from Tower 28 Beauty and the Fenty Beauty cream blushes. Those are like the only two things I had my eye on or a cream bronzer. I kind of was thinking instead of getting makeup products with my gift card, what if I just got like a perfume? I think that's a good idea because I really don't have any perfumes and I want to have one. I want to have like a signature scent, you know what I mean? Let me know if you have any favorite perfumes because I think that's how I'm going to spend my gift card. I'm just going to get like myself a little fragrance. Now for concealer, I'm going to be using the Undone Beauty concealer, just kind of sticking with the cream product theme. Cream products are my favorite for summer and just in general because of I have very dry skin and so it just tends to seep into my skin better. So recently, um, you guys know I've started this little chat and try series, which is really fun and I do enjoy trying new products and just talking to the camera, doing chill videos like this. I don't know, I just watch other people do reviews and I feel like I leave out so much information and it just made me realize how little I, I guess I actually know about like makeup and ingredients and different skin types and I basically, when I do my chat and tries, I just talk about what products I like and if I like it or I don't like it and I don't know it just made me realize that I am not a makeup artist I'm just kind of a girl who likes makeup and so I kind of want to not stop doing reviews but I just feel like I'm it's not really my place to review makeup I don't know I, I don't know if I'm just not picky or what it is but I just I guess I don't give detailed enough reviews let me know in the comments if you understand <laughs> what I'm saying and how you feel about that my words aren't really coming across how I'd like them to but now I'm just using some M cosmetics brow cream and I use the shade brunette so yeah I don't know I'm just rambling on so much about this but I've just been thinking about that a lot recently and kind of where I want to take my channel um, but I'm not gonna say I sit here and be like oh I'm gonna completely stop doing makeup reviews or stop doing chat and tries because they are really fun like today this is really fun and casual and I can just talk about new products and my honest opinions but yeah I don't know I just wanted to put that out there okay so now I'm going to take the beach please golden hour product I think this is like a lip and cheek product this color is just everything I am such an orange product fan I probably got enough for both cheeks tbh it does blend nicely, but it kind of feels like I'm putting a lip product on my cheeks, which I don't mind, but it looks so lovely. And it's kind of glowy too. Like I feel like I don't even need a highlight with this. Like, do you see the, 
sheen on that. So then I'm just going to use this Super Do No Shade Highlighting Balm and this is such a cool product. I was really intrigued by this because it's kind of just like a dewy, glossy finish. I feel like this will be really cool on the eyes for like that glossy eyelid look. And this product is a lot more goopy <laughs> when compared to the other one. So definitely kind of looks more liquidy. I don't know if the camera's picking that up. Let me turn the exposure down. Maybe you can see a little bit more. Okay, so for the eyes, I'm going to take this Yes Please palette from ColourPop. And this has so many peachy shades. For fun, I'm just gonna put some of the um, Super Dew gloss on top of my eyelids just to see how that looks. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about putting this on my eyes. I feel like it just looked better before when the eyeshadow was matte. Now I'm going to curl my lashes and put on the Maybelline Lash Sensational. I've been really liking this. I didn't like it at first, but then someone told me instead of using it like you normally would with the curl going with your lashes to flip it the other way. And that has honestly been a game changer for me. I really wanna do a video with my boyfriend and he actually wants to be in the video too, so that's exciting. But we just have very different ideas when it comes to what kind of video we both wanna do. I wanna do more of like a Q&A, boyfriend tag kind of thing. Maybe he does my makeup. He wants to do a challenge video, that's just more his style, I don't know. So yeah, let me know what kind of videos you wanna see. I really want to figure out a way to incorporate like the boyfriend tag or just like a Q&A into something, but he wants to do something more of like a challenge or something more fun. Maybe we could do like thrifting each other's outfits or something. I don't know if he'd be on board for that, but yeah, that gloss was a no-go. I kind of just wiped it all off with a Q-tip. <laughs> I don't know, it just kind of started like clumping up on my eye uh, eyelids and like the eyeshadow I put down started clumping up. By the way guys, do you like my shirt? Oh. Marshalls and TJ Maxx and all those stores opened up again near me so I went and I bought quite a few things. Should I show you? I also went to Plato's Closet and I got the cutest rain jacket. I should do a haul but I really want to show you guys so. Please pardon this clothing haul interruption. We will resume to the lips shortly to finish the video, but I just need to show you. Okay, so I got this shirt for like $10. Ignore the um, athletic shorts. Then I got this raincoat at uh, Plato's Closet and it is so my color. Like, do you see this pink raincoat? I just want it to rain so I can wear it somewhere. And then I got this shirt, which is just like a nice white um, basic shirt, but it has a little like flower detail. Really cute. And then I got this hat right here, which is like a little beach hat. I'm not gonna take it off the wall because it was kind of hard for me to put up there. Um, and then I got a bathing suit, so. Okay, and to finish things off, I'm going to use this orange lip gloss in the shade Fire. And these have are bomb. So this color I actually really, really like too. Oh, look how pretty that is. This is in the shade XOXO and it's like, it looks like jelly lava lamp yumminess. Like I just wanna eat it. Then we have a clear, which is really nice. These all felt really great on the lips. So I'm gonna show you guys how the orange one looks. I think it'll look really nice with the cheek. I'm doing this without a mirror. It doesn't come off super orange. It's a nice orange shade. But yeah, this is the finished, really easy, peachy, glowy look. I really like it. I like all the Tower 28 Beauty products. Is it Tower 28 Beauty or just Tower 28? And then they also sent me this SOS facial spray that I've been using uh, morning and night. You wash your face and then spray it and then you put on your moisturizer. And I, I really don't know how I feel about this because I think it takes like a week or two to see results, but it's just supposed to make redness go away, even things out. Um, I think maybe even minimize pores. 
yeah, defend against daily damage, um, including makeup, sweat, pollution, all that stuff. So it's just supposed to be like a good spray for your skin. But yeah, this was my little get ready with me using some Tower 28 products. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to check out all of the links down below. I will link all of the products that I used as well as my social media and all of that fun stuff. So yeah, check it out if you would like and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.